Hello again YouTube from the en from the engine cave. The ZTEC project continues and this time this time on porting the cylinder head. This is part one. I don't know for how many part series. But first of all when you start porting the ZTEC black top or silver top cylinder head. The most important part where you make most of the gain is in the back in the back of the exhaust valve. There is a huge ridge here. Okay, nice. Focus. There's a huge ridge here. Sharp corner. When the exhaust starts to flow, it hits this corner and is diverted into the middle of the port where it collides from the exhaust coming from this side of the valve and then there's a very steep angle in here it's straight into this corner there's, there's no radius in here, it's just a sharp corner some of these have small radius or no, no radius at all so this, this, is, this is the part where you can make most gains if you want to port just slightly your cylinder head because the exhaust is very restrictive on these ones the valve is 28.3 millimeters if I remember correctly the valve is okay size on turbo engine or naturally aspirated if you're making a mild engine so all you need to do is take your rotary file I use 21 millimeter rotary ball file and radius this section so it's the constant radius into the port and same on the exhaust port floor you make a constant radius into the valve seat it's a nice nice slow radius all around so this doesn't make any flow separation from the port floor like on the stock it's it's very steep I'll take the light and point it from this this way forward so you can see but yeah all you need to do is port this and blend the bowl from both sides there's this hump in here I have removed so it's a const constant radius in here all the way into the port if you don't do anything else than this this is the most gain you can get from the cylinder head on small porting anything else on the exhaust port is meaningless if you, if you don't radius the port like this there is a water jacket in here but it's five millimeters wide in the port I don't know if I can show it to you let's see if I can get some light in there sorry this is not too easy to yeah there you can see it's it's not too wide the water channel it's something like five millimeters wide so you can you can take the corner out pretty nicely it doesn't affect anything except you get more power so in here you can see the steep angle of the exhaust port when it merges into the runner. There's all sorts of bumps and sharp corners the exhaust needs to take. And you have to consider that when the exhaust valve opens, the, f the flow of the exhaust is nearing the speed of sound and even a slight bump can cause major turbulence and make a restrictive point just after the valve when the flow is most critical so this, this, these are the modifications I make to these heads and they tend to work very well and it's, it's very easy to port them like this you just take A rotary file, 21 millimeters, 
and when it fits into the port it's okay because in here it goes like this it doesn't fit into the port and you just start grinding and pointing it into the middle of the port and blending the port floor so it's it's a constant radius and when you have a spherical tool like this it's easy because you have all the tool full of cutting edge and you just start making this kind of motion and blending the port it's very easy and there's this very minor chances you miss messing this up if you get a nice constant radius on the port and the tool fits on every port you've done a good job and all the ports are just about the same size and same port volume I usually go go around here so long that it touches the valve guide slightly then I turn the head around and come from the other side and blend in the board from there come over the guide because it's easier to cut it from there and when you're done you have a nice port and then you can take a flapper disc or something and polish the port if you like if you don't it doesn't make huge difference because it'll be it'll be caked in exhaust suit anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah let me turn the head around and we'll continue continue from there sorry not easy filming and handling but yeah there you can see if I can point the light just blend it from oh it's too bright let's see if we can get slightly more light from the darker side but yeah it blends into the port and it's a huge improvement into the flow of the exhaust and the exhaust is the most restrictive on these engines and then when you come out of the out of the valve blow bowl then you can continue to raise the roof some on here you can blend this so it comes here on a constant radius it starts the roof on here and then you can blend it up way so it meets the same contour as this both of the boards like this and make this a constant radius down here so you like have a slightly heart shaped port like this you don't have to do anything to the port floor on here just blend the radius here and you can take some away from the board divider but you have to remember there's water in the middle so you you can make it sharp if you want from this point there's 80 millimeters to the water jacket so you can blend it and make it like everybody else makes make a sharp divider but it doesn't affect so much flow as it's more like a visual aid it looks better but it doesn't flow so much better but yeah just everything on nice radius so there's no kinks and no sharp turns so the exhaust will flow good but yeah that's all for for this on this episode discussing on the exhaust ports i will go through all the ports and i will show you when the one port is finished and we can discuss that more then on this this is how i make it there must be a million ways to make this but this is how i port the heads and i've been porting motorcycle heads in the past and they're all been good what we have flow tested and they've made excellent power but yeah anyways you all stay safe and have a nice day happy porting bye